Let's take a quick look at what we can do with the webcam here. So I did record the webcam, quite often I don't. And sometimes you might want to include it because you can easily get rid of it later if you don't want it. So just a quick look at what you can do here. So if I select that track, you can see it's put the handles around the side of it. I can move it to a better position. So I can simply move it anywhere else on the screen. I can increase the size of it by grabbing one of those handles. And in fact, I could make it kind of fill the screen as well. Now I've got the properties open on the right hand side and there is a properties button. If I click on it, it will get rid of the properties. If I click on it again, it puts it in and I could scale it like that. You can, like any track, change the opacity as well. So you can make it see through. I could, if I wanted to, also rotate it. So I could change that. Let's put it in 10 degrees. You can rotate it like this as well. So you've got different angles that you can do. Let's do 20 degrees. I'm going to reset these. You can just reset any of these just by clicking on this little circle with the arrow next to it and it puts it back to the default positions. You can also do things like choose the position as well. You've got an X and a Y over here as well. But as you can see, I can move it around. I can make it bigger and smaller. So two things I want to show you here. One, what if I want to get rid of that? Or two, maybe I just want it there for the beginning and not for the rest of it. If I want to get rid of it, the slight problem I have is that that's where the audio is being recorded as well. So if I just uh, choose that and play it just for a moment, you can hear the uh, video there. You can hear the sound. But if I get rid of the web webcam, let's just delete it. And now if I play, there's no sound. Control Z or Command Z is undo and that will take out the command on the Mac. So what do I want to do? I want to split my audio and the picture. I'm going to do that by right clicking and you'll see here there's an option that separate audio and video and it will now split it into another track. So there's my audio on its own and there's my camera. So if I want to get rid of the camera, I can just delete it. Okay, that's one thing I can do. So let's undo that. Okay, so I am now thinking about maybe having me there at the beginning and then maybe after a few seconds I disappear and I'll come back later on. So what I can do is choose the point where I want to sort of fade out and we'll be looking at fading and transitions soon. I am going to click on split here. I could go into the edit menu and choose it from there or just type S or command T on the Mac and you'll see that has now split it. I'm going to go down here because maybe I want to reappear at the end. So let's split that. Okay, so I've now got it into three sections. That one, that one, and that one. And you can have it in as many sections as you like. So I'm going to get rid of that one in the middle. But I'm also interested in maybe doing something a little bit different. So here I am. Let's just uh, play it and there you go. And then I disappear, but the video still keeps going. And then at the end here, it comes back. It is and taking its time. You've got the spinning wheel. There you go. I come back. And as I said, we're going to look at transitions to make a little bit of a dissolve so that it appears nice and gently. However, they're split. And I could, if I want to, have them in different positions. So I could say, on well, this one starts over here. I could have me doing more of kind of like the full screen. Let's just put that there. And then later, I might just want me here. So at the beginning, that's where I am. And over here, that's where I'm. So you can fade down, you can move it back in. So let's say I had a presentation here and I was in the way of it. If I was on this side, I could fade it down or cut and then move it to somewhere else so that I, can move it out of the way of something. Or maybe there's something really interesting on the screen and the webcam is just getting in the way. 
So that's what you can do. So basically you need to separate the audio and the video and I did that by right clicking and choosing separate uh, the video and audio. I can then cut the webcam backwards and forwards um, using split and then I can reposition any one of them. Now if I wanted them to be exactly the same the great thing is if I click here I can see my properties, I can make a note of it, I can come over to this one and I can put those same values in here so they match perfectly. So that is what you can do with the webcam to make it a little bit more interactive and take advantage of being able to resize, get rid of it altogether or having the webcam appear and disappear. So in the next video I'm going to show you what we can do with editing the audio and also the screen as well. So we're just going to taking this a little bit further.